hello there uh, looks like there is a slight discrepancy in cash manager as far as version 2.2.11 uh, and 3 the latest version is 3 uh, there is a discrepancy with cash manager in both the versions i will show you with a uh, example i will close this test i will also close the test on uh, the second version of jmeter close i will open okay uh, i will open the same test again this test was created uh, in version 3 but it works on version 2.11 also and it works the correct way on 2.11 and it does not work on 2.13 I will explain you what I have done. These are the two tests. Both are exactly similar. I have opened the same test. Apache J meter 3 bin cache manager. Apache J meter 3 bin cache manager. So they are from the same folder and here the apache j meter version is 2.11 here the version is 3 notice for yourself i have put cookie manager i will just explain you the test in one version cookie manager that does that no specific details about the cookie manager the user defined variables are blank the header manager is blank the request defaults i have uh, okay first i will go to the test plan this is coming from the test plan app url is a user defined variable in the test plan so it is coming from test plan and i have taken www.google.de as my main uh, home url so this uh, request defaults has this site and then cache manager is the main thing that i want to show you i am clearing this clear cache each iteration i have put everything as a default uh, and here in the thread group i have put csv data config this is just a dummy file with some data and i have put a constant timer i put a http request with a response assertion and response assertion is fetching one uh, text on the page it is uh, comparing it with the this text and it is passing the assertion if this text is found let's look at version 2.11 it, it is the uh, same thing and i have put two view results tree and view results table so it's the same test exactly same test and this one i will run on version 2. Point. so how this should behave is the cache manager how it functions is when i uh, uncheck this clear cache on each iteration it will every time uh, the first time it will fetch it from the server and second time onwards it will fetch it from the cache itself so let's see our uh, settings so http cache manager we have seen we have cleared this clear cache each iteration in the thread group i have put number of threads okay here we can put the uh, test plan details like okay here uh, test plan is uh, users we can put here and the ramp up period we can put okay so i am putting those two and this i am doing in this is all set now let me save this and uh, i will close the test in version 3 for now so that there is no conflict as such okay, no. Uh, let me go back to my test and i will save this i already added the duration from the test plan the duration is 30 seconds see this one duration is 30 seconds okay 
so now we are all looking good as far as our http request goes i have added a http request defaults over here and uh, the default takes the application url from the uh, test plan from the user defined variable on the test plan the http request takes the path so all the details are coming from the http request defaults to the http request now here uh, we have cleared uh, cleared the clear cache each iteration so let's run our test and verify the first request should be a 200 response code and the second request onwards should be 304 that is it is not loaded from the server so i will show you the uh, FTP request we have already seen and uh, let's run it let's run it and see whether uh, it's working or not okay so it works see the second request onwards we are getting a assertion failure assertion failure because we got a response assertion the response was null nothing came back from the server it was taken from the cache so that's the reason the response was null okay this will continue for 30 seconds since we have put a duration of 30 seconds we will wait till the test is finished okay it has finished now now let's uh, go back to our uh, cache manager and we check this option now we go back to our uh, uh, view results entry we clear the results and run it this time everything should run fine and there should be no errors the assertion should be successful because every time it is taking data from the server good till now okay we are done so all the requests are successful as we have seen here the assertions have passed now let's do these two sets of test again in the newer version version 3 so i will open the same test in version 3 let me close that test from here you can verify the path c colon apache hyphen j meter hyphen 3.0 slash bin slash cache manager dot jmx okay okay so now let's do it in version i will close this uh, older version now since we are done with the older version i showed you how how it differs when we check and uncheck that clear cache box let's open it here cache manager this is the newer version guys so pay close attention uh, head group and here in the cache manager i am putting i am clearing this cache okay first we will see with the cache checkbox cleared so uh, what what should it do here it should take it from the cache every time from the second time onwards it should take it take the data from the cache for the first uh, request it should go to the server and bring back the details the second request onwards it should take it from the cache let's go to view results tree and run it okay did you notice the difference the second request onwards also it is passing the test and it is showing something this is not of significance but it is always showing response code as 200 for all the requests so this is the this i think is a bug in apache jmeter version 3 and uh, people should note this down let's repeat this test with it gives the same results no change at all clear cache i am checking it now and i will repeat the test now 
the first time it has passed which should not have been the case only the first request should have passed and all the subsequent request should have failed stating that it's a it's taking from the cache and the response data is blank so let's clear this out and let's run it again to verify this time also the same result so there is no difference whether you check or uncheck that button for clearing the cache on each iteration it was working fine in 2.11 and 2.13 which i have already shown you now this has to be reported as a bug so i, I think this is a bug and uh, i am bringing it to the notice of apache jmeter thank you bye bye